Yeah, 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 yeah. Lock them doors and turn the lights down low. Slow it down like Here we are. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Don't screw it up. <laughs> so everybody is just. And you smell good too. That may be kind of weird, but you do. <laughs> Every time you walk by, it just kind of. Ladies and gentlemen, episode two, hang time. I've played a lot of football. I started football in fifth grade. I'm one of the older cats, if not the oldest cat. I think I'm the oldest cat on the team now. Played a lot of football. Had a lot of teammates. This is not an exaggeration. Top three teammates of my lifetime. Our guest of honor, back again on hang time. Jeremy Reeves, Revo, what's up, dog? What's up, my guy? <laughs> All right, so, so this dude, okay, this dude, I... I'm not a big film study guy, but you know, there are some mechanics involved in punting a football and one of the best, you know, camera angles is straight on naturally in a game or in practice can't be straight on because Brack, Mike Brack and our video director, he'd get blown up cap. Yeah. So I have him stand in front of me while I warm up and I have, I like to grade myself, you know, coach cats got me going on the grades of the direction three good direction two pretty good one. Okay. Zero. Don't like those. Had one of those in the game. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> These dudes bailed me out. So I always say if it's a good hit eh, or a bad hit and then my direction, one of those. So Reeves comes up to me one day and he just goes, you know, how did you know that bro? This dude, not only studying the other team, studying his own punter, learning my tendencies, learning. But dude, I think that is just one of your many strengths is just, you know, people, man. So welcome back to Hangtime. How you doing? I'm great, brother. Body good? Body great. Dude, you were flying around Sunday, man. <laughs> flying around. Bro, it felt good to go out there and fly around like that for my guy. Dude, always. Always. My guy. That is whenever I, I always know when Reeves is in the locker room, because I'll walk in the locker room. I'll just hear my guy. Like, oh, Reeves is here. Good morning. Man. So five. So five. That's my do guy. you have do you have like a go-to? Like after I mean, dude, you were flying around banging around on Sunday. Do you have like a go-to of the next couple of days? Like a hard workout, or I'm a chill, or I'm a hot tub, or I'm gonna take a nap. I might get a massage. Do you have a go-to? So usually, um, so today's Tuesday. Monday, we'll come in, obviously, watch tape. Yeah. But that workout we have, I usually get after it a good bit. I know, man. And then Tuesday, today, I'll come in. And then um, I'll get like a little flush recovery, cold tub, hot tub. What is tub. a flush recovery? That sounds wonderful. Uh, I get into the cold tub and hot tub. Shock the body. From neck down. <laughs> two minutes apiece. And then uh, I'll go home and have a massage, which I'm about to have in not too long. It's 2022. Yeah. When do you think I was the last time I was in the cold tub? What's your guess? How many years have you played? This is nine. So my rookie year was 2014 here. When's the last time I've been in a cold tub? I want to say before you got into the leagues, I want to say like 2011. 12. Oh my gosh. Documented. Oklahoma, Boomer Sooner, Coach Schmidt, strength coach. Mandatory for us to get in the cold tub after workouts. 2011. That was the last time I got Man. in. This dude knows his stuff, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you, this guy, he knows people. He knows football. But... um Dude, it is it is good to have you. We have many a conversations, and now we just get to do it on some couches and some microphones. Heck yeah. I am glad that you're feeling good. I hope the flush has gone well or goes well whenever you decide to do it. You will never catch me in the cold tub. Even if the guys downstairs yeah. are like, T-Way, you need to get in the cold tub. Blah, blah, blah. All right. No cold tub? No. Can't do it? Too cold. Man, you just got to dip in there all the way. Just like <sighs> all the way. Just We had a big Samoan, big Samoan cat at Oklahoma, Neela Casatati, come Ooh. in. Were you here with Neela? No, nah, I wasn't. He came, he came in for a short stint. He's mm -hmm. just coming in belly flop, man. And everybody's sitting there freezing. And this big old dude just splash everywhere, piss mm -hmm. everybody off. I'm telling but you, But nobody man. did anything because he was massive. Yeah, you can't do it. I thought about saying that. something, but I wanted to keep living. It's big so. Uso. Big Uso. <laughs> dude, there was a uh, there was a couple couple of points in the game um, here on Hang Time. We definitely love to go over some of the uh, more defining highlights. Mm-hmm. That was a tough one on Sunday. It was. You got to you got to take your licks. Nope. It is hard because you have the whole week and it all leads up to one game. You know you've been doing it a long time. It is a long season. 100%. Cuz we always look at each other after, you get pissed off at the film, you learn, you try and go and then you do it all again the next week. Correct. Have you noticed that there are times whenever an opposing punter, I hate to give these dudes some credit, but they're mm -hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. When they pin us deep, one of the first plays that we always do against them is bam, we gash them for like 20 yards. Yeah. 
as a punter, man, that just eats you up. It's like, oh, well, that's all right. Gave it a shot. (laughs) Now, we had them back deep, and Deron Payne, that safety. Showed up. Dude, it looked like he just literally, like, runs through. That's another grown man. Yeah. I mean, and Dallas Goddard, that dude can play some ball. He's a ball player. And I feel like Goddard's a grown man, but I I don't know if Payne is a different breed of type of man, but, like, what is your take on Payne? Because you're back deep in yeah. the secondary, right. and you watch a cat like this. What's your take, man? I mean, Payne makes my job a lot easier. Bro, he he's, a, job a lot he's, easier. A, he's such a nice guy, but he's a scary individual. Yes. Man. Yeah. I mean, Dallas Goddard is a as a grown man, he's a man's man. He yes, a heck of a ball player. Yes, but then you just have specimen like look at that pain. Where I mean, that's a guy where like if I'm blocking one on one and I'm an off- offensive guy, yep. I don't want to see him in front of me. Yep. So I mean, the dude's just built different, man. He's yes. he's a whole unit, and I mean, he plays his whole demeanor, everything. Dude, I saw him in the weight room this week, and he goes, "T Way, man, let me get on your podcast." I Got just, a very well. <laughs> okay like i was just i don't know if that's my call or what but i was like please for the love of god we gotta get him on some point because i don't want my skull to be crushed please throw him on he is as freaking as tough as he is all the time man dude's one of the nicest guys most genuine Big guys time. i've ever met man and he's always scheming you know like always we're, we're playing some oh. cornhole down in the uh, cornhole starting to get a little big got a little route some rivalries uh-huh. going reeves has my favorite throw on the cornhole board <clears throat> I was like, I picture him being like the best coach, like for his kids and his friends and things like that. But like you have one kid just like mouth off to you and the way Reeves throws his, throws his cornhole bag. is just like, man, what are you talking about? Show like just the rotation. It's the rotation. I know it's, it's, the a, it's a good look, man. It's very intimidating, <laughs> but a uh, pain comes up. He's always asking, Hey, Tress, how do I throw that bag? How do you put it in the hole? And I was like, man, you got to talk to it. And, you know, you guys have position meetings and mm-hmm. I don't, I get to practice every, right. a little bit more. Once He's a little too strong for cornhole. You, don't cheese, have to you know, cheese and I have really kind of turned into the duo, man. We yeah. Y'all target. got after. I'm not playing you guys. You got, come no, on, man. No, no shot. I'm not playing you guys, dude. No pressure, no diamonds, man. Facts. No pressure, no diamonds. <laughs> Facts. You're right. <laughs> All right, man. So there is often times when Cheese and I are on the sideline. Offense has the ball. We don't know when we're going in. Right. We hope it's a field goal. We hope it's a P. We really hope it's a PAT. Sometimes it's got to be a punt. Right. There are times that we see the ball go in 17's direction. Mm-hmm. I'm biased. He's been a guest on the show before. This dude and the catches that he makes, I I always say he's an angry catcher. Like Mm -hmm. the way, you know, like remember Adrian Peterson, he just ran angry. Right. Like I feel like Terry's an angry catcher and another just incredibly nice guy. Right. What, as a DB, what's your take on 17, man, as we look at the highlight of him going deep? 17 is one of one, man. I mean, I have the utmost respect for this guy just because of how he came in. I know. And then what he did when he came in. He was supposed to be a great special teams player, but we never figured that out. Cause- never got to see it. <laughs> never, I didn't get to see it at all. I might have got to saw a couple reps in training yep. camp, and I was it. Yep. I was out of that. Dude took <laughs> off. But, man, I mean, he's just a guy that he has that, you know, that tenacity to him and just that Big want time. to. And, like, he he plays with that chip on his shoulder, man. I know, and man. The, to see where he's started and where – he's at now i know man is also is awesome man it's like a beautiful thing yeah it is cool it really is i think you nailed that man he just plays with that chip and it's he's definitely a lot of fun to watch man that dude is special yeah 100 percent. there is another highlight that uh i really want to break down with you that we have that uh it really requires even more breakdown my man lays the wood on the philly returner going down to the sideline do you know when that was, was that, that hey, part that right one, there was, that a, was a good hit <laughs> in a three direction yes yes thank you reese but i don't i don't like to tackle i i have to well sometimes i shouldn't say that i there have been moments I've in my nine you. years i have to fly down there and it doesn't look pretty i just hope it's effective <laughs> when you have this kind of opportunity where you see the returner mm-hmm. he muffs it mm-hmm. he's picking it up and it's open season Break it down for me. I mean, the greatest example I could give is like when a bloodhound catches a scent, right? And it's just like ears perked back. Let's One go. of the more baller statements on this show. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's like as a cover guy, that is what you hope for the most, right? That is the situation you want the most. Oh, like, yeah. A guy that drops the ball and he's scrambling to pick it up. Scrambling. He got to get there before I do it. <laughs> if he gets there, like, I got to punish what? him. Now. Yeah, I got to so punish we him. So were, we're, we're watching film the day after the game with the whole special teams. And when this 
on the film, on the highlight, you'll see this brave gentleman pick the ball up and try and make something out of it. And this yeah. dude, I mean, I got some respect for that dude. Yeah. I mean, he yeah. was, I, he just kept coming, kept coming, kept yeah. coming. But the whole special teams room, as soon as Reeves and Armani get there, just we, everybody goes, whop. Like, dude, that was, yeah. oh, and then the hype. Now, yeah. this is the next part of the highlight I want to break down. After Reeves makes the hit, Reeves gave me our own personal handshake where PP and Punter, we've got our own personal handshake, two big slaps, and you wipe your nose. And I told my wife about that. And she goes, well, why do you wipe your nose? I said, why not? Why it's not? just so aggressive. Yeah. Like, don't let these guys get out of Make there. statement, baby. <laughs> I got this sent to me by mm. our team here at Hang Time as a, do you call it a GIF or a GIF? I call it... Her, I call it a GIF. Okay, see, Sunberg taught me it was GIF, so I go with GIF. So to each I his own. I don't get GIF though because I feel like, don't they spell it G I F? Listen, or, man, or I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying I call it a GIF, dude. I don't know. I don't know either. Anyways, I, know. I have that GIF. I think that that might be one that I keep literally forever. Oh yeah, that one's getting posted 100. Yes, that's my favorite just, moment because me and you don't have a lot of moments on camera. That's right. So like that many, one right there. Many throughout the locker room, yeah. many throughout the facility, right. many throughout practice. But that is, I mean, look at that. Dude, that's I, that. I will forever be cool because you showed me that handshake. Oh, no yeah. matter what. My like my kids, <laughs> as I get older, my kids try and roast on me. I'm like, you say what you want. If you do that on camera, on a field, you're fire. And you got 39 with you. Come on, man. Come on. It's, just like, it's just like Nate call, calling the, the gunners slamitos. Slamitos. <laughs> Slimitos. We I don't I don't know where the nicknames come from, but the nicknames are legit. We got Slimitos. I mean, I I don't know. I just love it. I love whatever identity and vibe that we got going. I mean, I love I love the way Nate coaches. Like, I do too, man. So Coach Nate Katzer, he says every like everybody loves watching an offense. Yeah. Everybody wants to see points put on the board, and then typically your special teams play. Oh man, I gotta run, take a leak. Mm -hmm. I gotta get a bite to eat. I gotta get something to drink. Coach Nate always says, be that punt team. Says, no, 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 no. You go later. You want to watch these dudes go. Yeah. Sunday, watching you guys. I mean, because it was a windy day. Uh -huh. I had a couple I had a couple of good hits, but that zero we were talking about. <laughs> I didn't put it where I was supposed to put it, but you wouldn't know because that these dudes are just some dark. Still doing. And then they got you dapping up Defoe. Yeah. How many, over under how many handshakes you have on the team? Dude, probably, I mean, you, everybody in DB room, um, so probably at least 11, 10, 11. Like I said, top three teammates of all time. I challenge you to have a teammate that has double digit handshakes with people. It's easy, man. You just, you know, you know, your guys, yeah. you, you get around guys, you kind of figure out how they are. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, the handshakes come out of nowhere, honestly. It's just like yes. one day I'm just like, hey, bro, we're going to do this. Them, them, me and Juice just made one, you know? See? like, Dude, your, your swag is on such a different level, though, because when we did our handshake, I know I'm feeling it right there. Yeah. <laughs> but my my swag didn't really come out until I realized I nailed the handshake perfectly because I just perfectly. thought, don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Don't screw it up. <laughs> well, you know what's crazy? I was so hyped in that moment. Oh, man. When you ran up, it caught me by I was surprise. Trying, I, at know, first. I was trying to slow it down. Like, here we are. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Then when I realized what was going on, I was like, oh, yeah, let me get right. Mm. Then the Yes, man. That was fire. Dude, though, that, was, that was definitely a good time. Yeah, 100%. Um, Reeves, here on Hang Time, um, there's a very a special moment in this show. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it must be delivered to us. Right. So this week's delivery brought to us by Grubhub. Ooh, um, I'm hungry. We're going to, we're gonna actually need cheese, man. Cheese. We got to get cheese in here. Let's cheese out. Bum, 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 Jesus, what? <laughs> Jeez. Oh. What's up, my guy? Welcome, Jeez. How you doing, man? Doing awesome. <laughs> Go doing ahead, amazing. man. Flip that, flip that baby up. This so, is the big It's only my second time here, so. That's okay, man. Just getting comfortable with it. Welcome. you, man. Welcome. So, <laughs> with our Grubhub Delivery of the Week, I present the punt coverage unit. Yeah, dude. 
Let's go. Come on. Fifth grade. Started playing football for Union Silver. Coach Mike Hopper. Won the championship. I didn't do much, but we won the championship. Hmm. We got a ring. He used to say, deliver the first blow. Hit them before they hit you. Gentlemen, I think we could argue that our punt team was delivering some blows on Sunday. Yeah, there were some hits out there. And you were delivering some beautiful snaps. You know, a lot of people don't know Cheese. Cheese was snapping them freaking perfect. And everybody thinks, oh, yeah, that Cheese is a professional long snapper. They were perfect. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) And people don't know. I can't cover unless he has a great redirect. So I can't get out unless he's covered. Break us down with a redirect if you would. Okay. So a redirect is, okay. It could be an even box. It could be a load, right? If a guy crosses the center's face and I have a guy and he has a guy, his guy might not be where he think he is. So Mm. he has to redirect the other way Mm. to go get him. Which allows me to get out a little bit faster, mm. you know? So, hey, man, it's it's chestnut checkers. Remember, I, I don't snap the ball until you tell me to. So, wow. Need Wait a second. Too. The three of us all work together. <laughs> oh. Migos. Hang time. <laughs> Migos. Migos. Slimitos. <laughs> so, we got them all. Okay. Go, baby. So, as we go into some of these delivering the blows. Reeves, I love watching you smack people. M- me too. I mean... I- Watching you fly down like crazy is pretty unbelievable. Watching Dave Mayo tackle people, Fun. I think the kids say it just hits different. It's very different. You come in like a bat out of hell, fast as all get out. Mm-hmm. I feel like Mayo hits you with so much mass. Like yeah, I like- feel like when he hit the returner, I just went... <laughs> yeah, I did too. I was running down there actually, and when I saw him hit him, I said, "Ooh!" Dude, as I'm running, oh my gosh, yeah. what a massive individual, yeah. man! I just know it didn't feel good. It didn't, man. Yeah. So I talked to this returner after the game. Returner mm-hmm. comes up to me and he shakes my hand. And he says, "Hey, man, it was a pleasure." And I go, "Hey, dude, you got some stones back there, man." <laughs> yeah. I was like, "You know, you can fair catch that thing anytime you want." And he goes, "No, nah, I can't do that." And I go, "Okay." <laughs> We're just going to keep hitting you then. (laughs) I mean, the dude just kept coming. You got to give him some props, dude. Got to give him credit because, I mean, he took some licks from more than one person all game. Dude, I mean, watching watching you guys, man, fly down, that's that's some of these tackles. Like, I'm serious. There was the one that was the – or it was this, but it was that. Right down the middle of the field, like 60 yards away. The returner is going to return the ball. And there we've been seeing one of the highlights. It's just, as Coach Nate says, the elevator door just whoom, just closing in on dudes. Trust, I just that is the craziest hunt. thing. Cause if you see me, I mean you can see me right there. I'm running downfield. And I mean, I'm looking at the returner like right in the face. I'm like, I mean, <laughs> this he doesn't know what's coming to him. And all of a sudden, like like you said, the elevator door, man, boom. Yes. It just closes. Yeah. And I'm just like. Thank goodness that is not me. Yep. Yeah. See, there's Co- me right there. Hey, coach like, said, Coach said it great. If you ain't running on this unit, it's gonna be hard to Man, get into I mean, We're getting all we're getting all high tech here in 2022. There's all you can get the GPS speeds where it's like yeah, a big get you at it used to be a, a big deal right to yeah, get, get over 20. 20. Like if you get over 20 mile an hour on your speed, then you were rolling. I mean, coach is challenging our punt team. He's like, dude, you better get over 21 if you're going to be rolling. I, I think yeah. I'm a nice leisurely nine. I'm just kind of home but, run trotting. But you can get, I've seen you open that thing up before. I, you can give me a 1920. I, I got, You can give me a 1922. I mean, I'm at 16 right now. And Ooh. as you can tell, I'm not close to the returner. So, Ooh. yeah, but your stats hey, are keeping up. it 100. <clears throat> that one seven box, mm-hmm. if I didn't, you that was you were making that tackle, dude. Cheese was there. You were I making was. that tackle. I saw I saw the form break, break down. You can always base. tell when Cheese is doing really well because our special teams coach calls him Cameron instead of Cheese. <laughs> He's just like, man, that's Rare. big time, Cameron. That's really good <laughs> stuff. Rare. And every, t- every time Reese, whenever he says Cameron, Cheese, and I just go, mm, Cameron, that was a good one. Must Solid. be doing a good job, dude. Yeah. You get a nice one <laughs> of these. Really, really you get a nice one of those. It was it it was definitely fun watching you guys hunt, hunt and especially delivering the blows and yeah. delivering the perfect snaps and delivering the perfect redirects the and perfect redirects. Right. With the key of that little segment, delivery, 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 delivery. Man, almost like they planned that. Isn't that yeah. crazy? Somewhat. Man, the Trinity. The Ooh. Trinity. Oh. Do another, we have a new nickname? Another nickname. <laughs> Whoa. Do we have a new nickname? Whoa. Oh, my gosh, yeah. man. Well, uh, Reeves, Cheese, 
is helping me keep up with the times. Mm -hmm. And in that, Cheese helps us out with our next segment. It's called, Were You Here For You Like That? Was that the next year? I think that was the next year. We'll save that one for Minnesota Week. But this one is more of a, you posted that? Uh Uh-oh. You posted that? Oh. It is a total surprise. We have no idea what pictures we're about to see. Oh. But it's open season. Oh, even if how, you, f- how far does this date back for people's posts? I I, my, one of mine was in college, man. Oh, I think we had Curtis in high maybe. school. I took all, had, I took Curtis. a lot of my photos off Instagram. I <laughs> hope we we'll see. I hope we see Reeves <laughs> or Cheese with a duck face so bad <laughs> that would sit. That would sit me oh. over the top. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see your first one. Oh, see, we're gonna st- we're gonna start good, man. Oh, now, yeah, is that, are you happy or are you about to clean this clock? Oh, I'm about to clean this clock. That's a that, sucker it was punch. His, it was his birthday. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that you day, kind of you look kind of yoked, man. Hey, man, appreciate it, man. Yeah. You know, I, I, I lift. Huh? How many tattoos do you have? Uh, I have two. I got a full sleeve on both sides. Mm-hmm. I got my chest done. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got. I just got one on my leg. So I mean, I got. A, I got What's a couple. the next spot, man? You gonna catch? I'm gonna finish my whole leg. I'm gonna finish my whole leg. Does it hurt? I was, mm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I I have a super high pain tolerance. Like all of these, like Flex. I fell asleep in all of my tattoos. Yeah. Like, but this one right here, oh, that one stung a little my bit. My pain tolerance is not so high. In <laughs> 2019, I got hit by the New York Jets and they were feeling the top of my leg and they're like, hey, we just don't wanna feel you don't wanna feel a burning was sensation. It Yes. It was a max. It was a max. Yeah. Came through. We got the two. pun off. Yeah. He lay in me. Yeah. Yeah. See? Details. And I get hit and the doc's running his fingers over my shin. He's like, you just don't want to feel a burning, burning sensation. Otherwise, we're looking at maybe like a little hairline fracture or something mm-hmm. like that. So he gets about to the middle and ah, burning. And he goes, does that hurt? And he freaking <laughs> points at it again. I go, ah, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, they go, well, the only way it could get worse is if you get hit again. Otherwise, it's just going to be painful and you can play. And I said, I can go. And I'm not going to I was hurting a little again. bit. I go to get my x ray after the game. They pulled my sock down. It was just a scab. So <laughs> where, where he was pointing his finger, it was just some open <laughs> flesh. So I uh, I can't relate to the pain tolerance, man. That's not me. That's man. <laughs> I got back out there, though. I'm proud of you, Trust. Yeah, yeah thanks, back man. Out I kept, kept going in the game. Yeah. I'm proud of you for that. Okay. All right. Next one. Whoa. 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 Y'all think this is about me, dude? What are we doing? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Hold on. So I was in high school. Relax. Bro, I was bro, in high school. You have beats on, so yes. it couldn't have been that long ago, but I feel like the graphics are something from like 94. Okay, yes. relax. All right. I'm going to need y'all to chill. I didn't make this picture first off. This the was segment made for is me. called You Posted That. So it's I open post, I, po- I, post, <laughs> I posted this, yes. Yes. But that picture wasn't created by me. It was somebody that like posted. I was in high school. You know, editing oh, in high school, know. graphic editing was like a big thing. Big time. Then. Big thing. Yes. So, but I'm uh, confused. Are you on fire or are you smoky? Or, uh, I don't know. But then, it was in your eyes. Are you seeing stars? Are you? I am the star. She's you the are the star. Man. Wait, so you're looking She's in the mirror. Time. Yeah. Come on. I, there actually is a mirror in that gym. See? In front of me. There should be a mirror. In That's why gym. I got that look. I like to, you know, if I'm like getting that pump on, I got to see it. Absolutely. I need to feel it. Yeah. That is unbelievable, man. Yeah, cut that okay. one off. That I, one's got to go. When I first saw it, I wasn't sure, but I'm back now. I'm back. <sighs> yeah. One of, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. The floral is fire, right? I it's am fire. Full time Bahama, all the way. Bro, cheese, fire. Cheese, cheese, cheese has glasses. a vibe. Look at that. You just needed the aviators, bro. That's all you know. I got them. He has. Them. You, I just didn't have Dude, you gotta go air church and wear them inside. You gotta go inside. You've got to. Like in that, especially haters. in that situation, bro, gotta have one. Look at that, man. Hundred percent, dude. Week. So the I, I'm telling you, cheese, the vibe that you have going, your personality, you're a super chill dude. Right. You also work your tail off. I think that this simulates and shows. Hey, I'm here to work. I'm here to grind. But I'm also here to party. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, it's you could like, say that. I was gonna say, you know, right. but Get I like to it. I like to have a vacation mindset. But right. I I'd go with that. Like, right. yeah, no, you're here to work, but you're here to party. Right. And we we can have a party on the field. Absolutely. Cheese is a good celebrator. Maybe yes. maybe it showed up in some of our old segments. You can see him like go pull can, up that clip can, from this week or oh, yeah. this he past weekend. He gave me like one of those little. Let's oh, go. Yeah. I brought the energy this week. He did. He did <laughs> all the way. Hundred percent. I fed off a of cheese. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Cheese. Thank you for the energy. Oh, <laughs> my. Yes, Halloween. God. Ha- Yo, I was just want you to know, speaking of party, whoo, that one was a, <laughs> that one was a good one. Is that Popeye on your left? 
Uh, no, that's a uh, no, that's dude from SpongeBob. Yeah. Uh, Barnacle Boy. Barnacle Boy. That's Barnacle Boy, and I'm just one of those baby lock them doors and turn the lights <laughs> down low. I guess that was what I was feeling. Jesus, things that man. That's not fair. I shouldn't ask you that on any time. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. <sighs> that's all right. Josh okay. Turner. What's the over under on how many times you said yeehaw? It wasn't yeehaw. It was yee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> even better, yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's a I, I kind of dig that. I know Cheese has his I mean, flow. Maybe you should rock that into Dallas. Wear that right. on. No, I'll save that for the Rooks. We'll do that next year. Yeah, yeah, Make yeah. Make one yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Wear that. But Got me some boots, though. Yeah. I Cheese, thank you very much for the delivery. Thank you for always being our guest member for you posted that. Until next time when we get yeah. hungry again. I got another delivery anyways. Is it another perfect snap? Later, Gator. Oh, yeah. Hold that. <laughs> Oh, he wasn't lying. He really does have a delivery. Look at that. Oh, he just man. looks fast in the helmet. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> walks with me, with me. <laughs> oh, dude. The cheese, man. I'll hold on My to guy. this hat. That'll be all right. That's a nice hat. Yeah. Kind of want it. The dude, uh, the dude can definitely deliver some perfect snaps. 100%. Yeah, definitely get spoiled. No. Good dude. Reeves, remind me the first year that you got here. 18? 18, 18 was the first year I got here. Came in from Philly. Right. When you first got here, mm -hmm. what has it been that has made you love this place? You guys, honestly. I mean, people always talk about a building, but when it comes to players, it's always about how guys in the locker room make you feel. Yeah. Right. And you guys, from the time I walked in here, have always made me feel like this is where I've been my entire career. Yeah. And yeah. so, man, it was just like the the energy that I got from you guys and and just the love and you know I me mean, you don't want to go anywhere else you know yeah. you got that here I know that's the that's the part too like obviously it's part of part of the business you uh -huh. see like you see buddies come and go right. and, and things like that but it definitely is it's something about that the game is so emotional right you know win yeah. lose tie whatever the game is so emotional and right. you just sit there throughout the week with the same guys yep. and especially on the game day that is definitely like sometimes. Friends, family ask me like, "Hey, right. when are you thinking right. you'd be done?" I, NFL stands for not for long. I always hope yeah. we always hope we get to pick when we're right. done. Right. Um, I always say that's the thing I'm gonna miss the most is 100%. just walking in sub five, sub like, five, the little things like that. I just don't. I don't know if my son and daughters. I don't know if they'll hit me with the sub five when I come down in the morning <laughs> and make some coffee one day. But I hope so. You never know. I don't know. Now I've got a swag gif that I can just freaking drop on them on any uh, moment. True. So I might have to. Know. I might have to tell um, baby five like I had to give him like the recipe. You know, for when <laughs> tell the time comes. Hey, five, what's up, five? <laughs> <laughs> dude i got a question for you that uh i've i've got one time this is kind of off the cuff a little bit when you were in college uh -huh. was there a certain year or a certain season that you had where you thought all right there's there's a legit chance that i got a chance of going doing this for the living or for a living and going to doing it at the next level you know what's crazy since i was five man it's always been that there's a picture actually on my instagram that you guys didn't pull up uh-huh Sorry, uh, man. You have to. You understand it has dang. to. Yeah, we got to. We got to keep everybody interested in the funny ones. So, true. Yeah. True. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> There's a picture though. Um, we did a yearbook every year in elementary school, right? They ask you like, "What's your favorite food?" Like, um, "What's your favorite movie?" Like all that stuff. But then one of the questions at the bottom is like, "What do you? What do you think you're gonna be when you're older?" Right? I'm like in elementary school. Yeah. It's like professional football player. Yeah. And like that mentality never changed from I that time that yeah. until I was, you know, 21 going to the draft, yeah. you know? So yeah. like the mindset was always there. Yeah. College, when I got to college, like it was already, now it was just like, I'm preparing myself to get there. Now yeah. I'm at the level to where yeah. I need to be. Dude, you, you operate that way. You like your, your consistency of your attitude, your work ethic, your energy production, like everything like that. Where, where you credit that, where you credit that, that that consistency of, and it may be, that mm -hmm. may be a few different answers, but right. like what, like that is the one thing, like if some, you're going to go get picked up somewhere else, mm -hmm. one word to describe Revo, hundred percent, just consistency, like getting them every day, same way. My parents love that. Um, my dad was army and then my mom was air force. And so, um, I grew Not up a lot of there. excuses in that house. Then, nah, I take it. Yeah. nah, nah, <laughs> nah, there, there's no excuses at yeah. all. Um, and so I grew up militant, you know, I, I still make up my bed 
every day before I, you know, go to work. Yeah. But I've done that since I was a kid. Yeah. You know, I, I used to iron my clothes when I was in private school and school the night before. Yeah. I used to have my meals ready the night before. I yeah. used to have all, everything was so regimented that now like that bled over into my like daily life. Right. Yeah. So it was like the programming of everything that yeah. I have experienced my entire life yeah. has really like built that consistency to where, you know, when I'm on the field or when I'm in the locker room where I deal with people, right? Yeah. Like, you always get the same me every day. Yeah, man. Dude, that's really good. I that that, that uh that, that hits it right on the head. Just know just knowing you now and been a buddy of yours for a while now, it that that makes a lot of sense, dude. Appreciate that. Bro. So your folks, were they athletes? Yes. My dad played football. He promised he promises up and down that he was a great football player. Dude, Do you I know that's it? what Ugh. that's what kills us. Now everything is online and you can look everything up. Right. Man, I was convinced. I by the end of this, I would have told my kids that I was the quarterback. I was <laughs> Heisman Trophy winner. Like yeah, no my, my number was 36 in college, and we had a Heisman <laughs> Trophy winner, Steve Owens, number 36 at Oklahoma. Right. I was fully planning on telling them, like, hey, there's dad, see, 36. <laughs> but now it's all gone. You yeah, can look no everything shot. up, all stats, everything. That, I know. See, I, but like your pops, it stopped. you got to take your pops at his word. I, I, gotta like, take oh, I guess it. pops was a dog, man. I, I got I to take it. Uh, my mom ran track, and then um, my dad was, you know, a football guy. So they, they were athletes. I think, you know – I think I got more so my athleticism from my mom. Yeah. Um, Cause my mom, all the way to when I was growing up, you know, she used to go to the, like to the rec and just go play basketball. Yeah. You know, like that was like her thing or she'd yeah. play tennis or she, she'd do everything. Yeah. You know, so I think I got it more so from my mom. Yeah. I got my strength from my dad for sure though. There you go. That's a unit. <laughs> Delivering the blows, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, is that, uh, I take it just kind of hearing like how your parents were like with attitude and how it was around the house. Mm -hmm. One thing that I think is really cool that you do, and I know it doesn't really get a lot of attention a lot of times, and obviously everybody loves watching the games, everything mm -hmm. you do outside of the football, like with the community and things mm -hmm. like that. What was the big drive behind that one, man? My mom. That's cool. Um, my mom wrote me a letter um, the day I went for college, but I didn't find it until this past year. Like it was given to me then. Oh, wow. Um, and one of the quotes in the letters is said that, if, you know, if you have the ability to reach somebody and change somebody's life, do that because you never know the effect it might have on somebody. That's right. And so um, I took that, you know, to heart. Yeah. So um, I went to tons of schools in my area. I went to just to talk to kids and tell them, look, man, like I'm a guy that's from where you're from. Yeah. So if I've, I've experienced all the same things you have in here, yeah. you know, and I'm where – some of you people want some of you guys want to be that's right and um i'm just kind of like a testament to yeah you know you can do whatever you want to do yeah i don't care what anybody says to you about your limitations or anything you are you know the, yep. the driver of your own destiny yeah i remember whenever i was a kid we had a uh a football and baseball player at my high school his name was steven patak mm -hmm. and i just i used to bend my hat bill the way he, he had his in baseball everything right. like that and he signed a napkin for me one mm -hmm. time and stayed stayed in my bedroom as right. long as i can remember right. and i just i'll just never forget him taking the time to do that mm -hmm. and i was just like yep my hat's the same way right. i'm gonna wear the same number in football like everything like that right and you never i mean just why know, not dude you, why not why not just take the time make you, some kid's you, day or you, like just you never know i, know. I mean it's been growing adults too that the, yeah. the effect like i've had people you know message me and be like man like from years ago when i was in college you know that just say you know hey man you probably don't even remember this but like you saved my life or like how about you, that man? and i'm just like that's just such a small thing that like you know it's just like okay our day-to-day -day grind right. playing ball right. trying to win games do everything like that and right. it's just i know it is it's a cool i mean we you get thrown into the like i guess you could say the responsibility of that right. but it's a it's a pretty cool it burden is. to have yeah. it is man it yeah. is for sure i know it's it's definitely something you could tell like with your character and things like that Another tough question. Mm -hmm. You ever given any thoughts to what it would be and what you would want to do after ball? Honestly, I have. Uh, you know, <laughs> you come in like I have. You've been cut so many times. <laughs> you got to figure out something. That's right, man. Um, but honestly, you know, a lot of community outreach stuff back That's home, cool. especially. Yeah. Um, Pensacola is an area where it was known for a long time as a retirement city. Um, and so what's happened now is that the there's been a such an influx of youth there that yeah. have come there and people have moved there because obviously location where yeah. it's had and yeah. what they have to offer 
Um, but there's not a, st a lot of stuff in the community for kids to do as far as like outreach programs and community centers and all that stuff. Um, and so I'm honestly thinking about, which is kind of in the process now of opening my own, you know, um, Heck yeah, like community man. center back home. Heck yeah, And it'll dude. be like a physical therapy for athletes and everything that, you know, kind of like the Andrews Institute, but like a smaller version of it. Yeah, you know, man. Just yeah. For, for kids back there, man. Yeah, dude, that'd be yeah. really cool. We were talking a little bit before we came on the set and we, uh, we both had some business ideas. <laughs> now, these are the truth. This is, we are not lying. We had these this business is, ideas. This is, this so is facts. Is, are we going to come up with some other brilliant idea after football? You never know. Mm. I always thought that it would be really great. This was early in my college career. I think I was sitting there and I was jonesing for some T-Bell or something right. like that. And I go, man. I'd have to walk all the way outside of my car, drive all the way to T-Bell, and then come back and smash it. <sighs> man. I just wish that my T-Bell could be delivered to me. Gosh. Grubhub. Man, would you be sitting here now? Probably not. I don't know. Probably don't not. Know. Probably not. No <laughs> shot. No shot. <laughs> I'd be, I, I would be helping cheese. I would be, I'd be the guy. I'm like, yeah, here, take this in for the guys. Here you go, man. Now Reeves, on the other hand, oh, dude, you take it. You go for it. Man. Tell us your idea, bro. So I played travel baseball growing up, like all the time. All right. My mother and my sister used to sing a ton around the house all the time. That was like their thing. Was it they, good singing? Oh yeah. Oh, gospel, okay. Sundays, gospel. Throughout the week, you know, my sister might be singing some Chris Brown or Mario or yep. back way back. It might have been like some Jodeci. Ooh. Uh, so, like, I always heard singing, right? So, like, fast forward to, like, when I'm in, like, my teens or not my teens, but, like, when I'm younger, probably 10, 11, um, I was playing travel baseball a lot. Rock or Guitar Hero had just come out. So, like, everybody's just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and so I'm like, dude, like it would be, we're always on the road traveling. What if God, the boys always, I'm like, dude, it'd be pretty sick. Right. To have like a, a mic and like a drum set and just like the whole band. Right. Yep. Rock band comes out literally like nine, 10 months after this. And I'm like, dang. Intellectual property theft. Gosh. Dang, man. Would you be sitting here, man? No. Yes, you would. Uh, you said when you were five years old that you wanted to be a professional you're football right, player. You're right. You're right. You're right. But think you about, wouldn't let a rock think, band stand think in the about, way. Think about this. If you walked into that kind of situation <laughs> at the age that we were at, there's no way. There's no way. I'm okay. Like, I might not even finish I college. I don't uh, know. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I agree with you, man. Oh, dude. Man, we, we have had some good times ever since you showed up in Washington. I did we not have. preface you on any of these questions, so I think we're getting a good raw Jeremy Reeves here. 100%. You got a favorite since you showed up? Whoa. Whoa. Since I got here in 18? It could be something very personal, something very individual, something team. So, I mean, that is, there is no wrong answer, bro. Like a core memory or a person? <sighs> memory. I'd have to say that year we were division champs. Yeah. Um. That's the first time I've, dude, like I've played a lot of football. I've been playing since I was five. Um, after Little League, I haven't won a lot, Yeah, you know? And so just to get that little glimpse of like what it feels like dude. to like yeah. get something. Yeah. Felt good, man. Yeah. It was like just the locker room after the game, playing yeah. music, guys, you know, just congratulating and yep. saying like, man, I appreciate you. Like, dude, that was awesome. Man. It is. It that was like a small glimpse of like what you want in the end. It was just a Super Bowl, right? Punch, yeah, punch your ticket to the playoffs. Yeah. Dude, there's I, I do I tell people the same. There's just nothing, nothing tops yeah, that, man. Nothing, man. Nothing. We uh we hit it a little bit with cheese on the fashion. Mm-hmm. I understand that you uh you like to dabble in a few of the apparel categories. Ooh. Big shoe guy. Big when shoe did guy. that start? Ooh. Probably when I was in like high school. Honestly, I will say right after high school. I had to because in high school, I was a private school. So you were in a polo shirt, khakis, tucked in shirt, and you probably wore some sparries with it, right? Did like, you have any swag in the gear? In the in the private high school, school gear? gear? Oh yeah, dude. I had me some seersucker, dude. I had like the whole <laughs> nine yards, dude. I had like the polo and I had I would have the 
the the pants I put on like a white and navy polo, navy pants, right? I'd yeah. have on like a either a Guy Harvey belt or like a Vineyard Vines belt, and Ooh. I'd have a piece of, dude. I used to mix it up, dude. I hey, look, I could dibble a dabble a little bit of everything now, <laughs> and I'd have me some Sperry's on, man. I like Call that. Call it a day. I respect that. Yeah. dude. I respect that. So then. Were you so pissed off that you had to wear so many Sperry's that now your shoe game is off the charts? Like, what, did it, it just keep climbing? It or wasn't, do, you, do you have, like, a favorite style? Like, are you, oh, I'm Jay's, <laughs> or, oh, I have 40,000 Sperry's, <laughs> or, like, what's the what's the jam, man? I mean, honestly, it was, it was more so, like, I just never really got to dress like I really wanted to because I was always wearing mm. this, right? That's what, that, four years, that's what I was wearing. Yep. Um, and so when I got to college, I was like, all right, we about to mix it up. Cause my whole wardrobe before that is like college shirt, khaki pants, yep. Sperry's. I didn't have anything else. Yep. No rules, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I got to college. It was like, gloves off, <laughs> gloves off. We, we like, we are freaking, we and you, dress. you went straight to Foot Locker. Just and shoes. We just started getting shoes, dude. I think the first shoe I, you know, it's crazy because shoes like are very like repetitive, right? Yeah. Like shoes, the same shoe will come out like every once in a while. Yep. I think the first shoe I had that I bought was um it was a jordan it was a jordan four it was a i think it's called now the fire red which is red black and white emily had them on the other day okay um that was like the first four i had yep and um i think i still have that shoe low-key honestly yeah. uh but um after that it just became like it was like wildfire then yeah. when i got to the league it was like oh <laughs> that just took off after that dude <laughs> oh dude i I need I need some help in the shoe game. I, I, got have, you, I have a few pairs of. I just dope. gotta get you some dunks, man. That's it. You you. What's bit. a what's a dunk, man? It's just it's a Nike, right? It's just like a it's a Nike. It used to be like a skateboard shoe back in the day. People don't know this. Okay. Shoes and stuff like fashion is like it's like recycled, right? Yeah. So like people now dress like people did in the nineties. That's right. And then like it just it's recycled, yep. right? So a dunk is basically it was a skateboard shoe that Nike created at first. The East Bay catalogs that used to come out back East in the Bay. day, those shoes were like eighty bucks in there then, bro. Okay. Like, but it's a it's literally just like it's a, oh I, we're looking at them yeah oh okay I got you it's like a subtle it's a subtle like, like you can get different colors obviously I got Reeves, like tons of, you know me really well I don't think I could rock those I dog. think you could dude. I think you could 100%. Just a, a clean white and black pair. The pandas? You could 100%. Pandas. The I pandas. could get on board with that. That sounds pretty panda, dope. Panda, 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 panda. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this. What are you wearing to Dallas? And what should I wear to Dallas? You know me. I'm throwing on a suit, baby. Cream color. Every right. time, man. You yeah. look dope. Man. Every time suit. you look so dope. I try, man. You know? And man. you smell good, too. That may be kind of weird. <laughs> but you do. Every time you walk by, I just kind of... Man, listen, that Dior Sauvage. If y'all watching this, Dior, yo, Sauvage, come on, man. Is that right. the uh, is that the Johnny Depp one? I With think the so. Wolves? I think no, this is oh, not okay. this is a different one. You sure? I think so. All right, I think. Um, but yeah, some man. of those fragrance commercials, man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm watching a movie. Yeah, I just get all of a sudden I get lost in it, and yeah. it's back to the show. I'm like, those oh, things, I don't know where they took me just now, thing, but I was there. Those things get intense. They get intense, man. Yeah. All right, so we're going to Texas. Should I rock my boots? Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 You got the ostrich skin? I might be able to find your Halloween costume. <laughs> Go with the horse. You imagine if I just come rolling down. I feel like coach, if I came on, I know like, cause we have a pretty solid dress code. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I came on in the horse, I feel like coach wouldn't even be pissed off. He'd be like, yeah, that's par for the course right there. You know, I, you know what I do? I should come back in and just, <clears throat> I should walk up and be like, there's a snake in my boot. <laughs> <laughs> 100 do that. So my my go to is always I try to dress like Blake Shelton on The Voice. Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> he just he has a nice sport coat yeah. on, a little button down. Yeah. He's got on like some dress pants or dress jeans and boots. Simple. And I just think that Simple. dude looks good. Simple. He was voted sexiest man alive at one point. What was that in 2000? What 15, 16? I'm not sure, like but he can claim. Can't take it away from him. That he got it. But I just think if there's anybody to emulate. Sexiest man alive can't be too far off. Can be. Don't matter what plans I got, I can break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Man. Dude, I love love having you on. Oh man. Love just chilling as always. Always five. But I can't I can't let you leave without putting you through the ringer real quick. Let's do it. If you can remember from last season, we finish every episode of hang time mm -hmm. with three and out. Where I give you a trivia question and you have one minute 
to give me three of the answers. Oh, okay. So I'm going to ask you, do you want four answers or five answers? The five answer one is harder, but the four answer one only has four answers. I'll you only have to name three because it's three and I'm, out. Oh, I need to change dude, it to like 12 and out. I know yours is five because how you play, was it trivia down there? Dude, you have some freaking questions, dude. Hey, man. I'm going to go. I got these ideas. Go five. The five one. Yeah. Okay. Scared money don't make money. Not 30 seconds. One minute on the clock. Oh, okay. they got us ready. One minute on the clock. Okay. The top selling car manufacturers. So like the make, mm -hmm. like a like a Chevrolet. Right. Okay. Or Ford. Remember that one. Okay. <laughs> what are the five car manufacturers, top five, that only have four letters in their name? Go. Ford. Ford. Um, only guy named three. Drive um, down the road. Ford. Uh, there's a Ford. Um, Let's see how? It's a BMW. No, that one won't work. Uh, oh, Ford. Keep driving. Uh, Mazda. No, that's five. That'd be a five. Yeah. Um, dude, that's tough. That's dude. a tough one. I told you it was that a harder one, tough. but you picked it. You still got thirty seconds. Take your time. You only need two more. Um, think about it. Think about it. Uh, think about it. <laughs> Why am I going go blank right now? Go through our parking lot. I'm just, dude, there's some, there's some crazy cars in that parking lot. There's some crazy Jeep. cars. Boom, two. Oh, you got 20 seconds. Uh, One I'm more. Driving, Jeep. That's crazy. I didn't even think. Mm. Uh, uh, 10 seconds. Come on. Take us down the road. <laughs> take us down the road. No, nope, don't look at the clock. That's a cardinal rule. Don't look at the clock. Three, <laughs> two, one. Oh, dude, what that's a it? hard one, Revo. What was that's it? That's a hard one. What was yeah, it? Yeah, Audi. Oh, what? Audi? Th that's, that's, <laughs> no nah, way, dude. No and then way. you had real, you had, you had two tough ones after that. Fiat. No shot. And Mini. Definitely no shot. I told you. I told you it was the harder one. It's the harder one. Tomorrow when I see you, I'll give you the ones that only, or yeah. you're chilling. The, later on, there's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> give me like three. Give me some three. <laughs> Reeves. Genuine pleasure, man. Always a pleasure, Five. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. I can't wait to see you on the road, and I'll probably smell you at one point as you're cruising by. <laughs> that was good, brother. Bro, thank you for the consistency as a player, as a friend, as a dude, and I am genuinely honored to have you as a PP. Always, Ooh, brother. everybody should know that means personal protector. Yes, so sir. that uh, bodyguard. That's, yep, that's essentially bodyguard. bodyguard. Gotta get so through me. Don't bear with me there. But uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't even pee where that. <laughs> see, that's okay. I gotta, I gotta remember these things. Yeah, yeah. I'm still getting over, used to it. Yeah, yeah. over the head. Yeah. Uh, but I can never thank you enough for giving me the GIF or GIF, as mm -hmm. you call it, for mm -hmm. the rest of my life of me just. <laughs> Always, brother. Thank you very I much, I might go dude. on the gram tonight, brother. <laughs> I might go on the gram tonight. <laughs>